Whoa, it's getting watered out my face. Okay, let's go with some. Oh, cool. How many pops? That's fine. filming all the time around us when we were kids so I was like oh camera is cool yeah. and then um, when I was six I got my first film camera just this yeah. happy snap one and then at 13 in Australia I got my first digital camera which was a Canon and then kind of led on from there I think I do best at portraiture, like making a character with people, either like bringing it out themselves from themselves or making a character for them. Fashion and portraiture. I think they're the most lively ones, like I find everything else a little bit bland. <laughs> Product photography is a bit like if you do it well it can look great but I'm not that patient to work so much on an object <laughs> so to make it look fantastic so I like oh, to work with so people more. I got a few here photographs but um, I think a couple that come to mind is um, uh, 2009 when I went camping at Rainbow Beach there's this picture of the ocean and there's like a sailboat in there and it's just like there's like the sky and it's like mainly ocean but there's just like this little tiny yacht mm. just in the middle which I really like and then uh, my second one is uh, one that I shot in first year 2011 my, my um, final assignments was this time we got to work with color film and the model that I had in was another acting student and she and she was wearing this blue dress and she was playing with a necklace and it was just really, really nice. Very prolific. I must say though, I am really proud of an advertising shot I did a while ago, a few weeks ago only, actually. And it was kind of, it was for Aquapana and it was really cool lit and there was like this guy and he was like being like attacked by all these girls and it looks really, yeah, it looks really cool. I've never seen a diamond in the flesh I cut my teeth on wedding rings in the movie. I think I really would really like to be a portrait photographer. Like, uh, there's this one photographer called Sarah Dunn. She just like photographs with a lot of famous actors and actresses, and, and I like the photographs she does. I think are really nice. I think I would like to work with actors and actresses because of my history as an actress and my love of portraiture. Actors are really good with like creating a character. Just making big production, working with people. And I find like the harder you work, the more satisfying it's gonna be at the end of it. So if, you ha if you're really exhausted at the end of the day, you're still gonna get that money shot. <laughs> and then it's, yeah, it's just gonna make you feel good when you come home. You're looking at the photos and you're proud of what you've done. You can call me Queen B. Me. 
probably Calvin Anderson and Jackson Calavajo. One would, of course, be Sarah Dunn. I think she had, I think she did really good portraits. Another one is Laura Ferreira. She does portraits as well, but she's a digital artist as well, so she does a lot of like model shots and engineers them. They're really vibrant and magical. And a third one would be Stephen Mizell. I think that his headshots are like, they're really amazing. <laughs> Being able to do the sort of stuff that Annie Leibovitz does, with like creating these sets and costumes and stories that are elaborate and amazing, or maybe like a, I don't know, maybe like a mixture between Annie Leibovitz and a Sarah Dunn mm -hmm. shoot. And I've got an idea creating like a Gaia-inspired shoot. So you know, Gaia, the, the Greek Titan of the earth, the mother nature. I really want to try the liquid clothing. Photos of people <laughs> with women mainly. And they throw water at them and then make them look like it's clothing. So yeah, it looks really cool. So that's my next aim to try. Oh, no.